now that Riley has kicked it, we are ready to go. Okay, I told you I was gonna talk about conclusions. I've mentioned that all of you have a conclusion and that some of you did it extremely well, even to the point where you probably won't even have to adjust anything. But I'm gonna go through this, outline form, super bullet pointed, super quick, and we're gonna get rolling and typing our own conclusions and editing our final drafts. Got it? Okay, just a quick reminder. Okay, so in co our conclusions, they come last, obviously. And at the beginning, you need a single word or phrase. What might be some signal words you use in a conclusion? It's like the first thing that's there, Zoe. Finally. Finally, comma, and then you go and explain some stuff. What's another one, Zoe? Another reason. Another reason, both of Zoe's. Got finally and another reason. What's that? Um, fifthly. Be like, not fifthly, they'd be like, finally, lastly. Another reason probably wouldn't work for your conclusion. Another reason would work for your body paragraph. Okay? So, finally, lastly, in conclusion, what else might work? London? Or my final reason, but right here in your conclusion, you're not telling me any new reason. So in addition, conclusion, finally, lastly, okay, or to conclude, something like that, where you're telling me and you're telling the reader that your paragraph and your essay is coming to a close. That's what a signal phrase is. It signals. Remember, it's like the bat signal. It tells you that the end is coming or that something's coming. The end okay? is near. Then you need to restate your thesis. What is your thesis statement? What is your thesis statement? Who can tell me what your thesis statement is? Zoe, get on you, hit me. Basically, your um, sentence that sums up what you're talking about. Your sentence that sums up what you're talking about. In your introduction, you have a thesis statement. The thesis statement in this introduction is right here. Okay? So, it starts with, I think that we should have easy H2Os at LCS because blank, blank, and blank. Right? Most of yours are, I believe that, you give me whatever you believe because blank, blank, and blank. This is where you tell me your three reasons that go in your body paragraph, okay? In your conclusion, you need to restate this. What does it mean to restate it? If I restate something, what does that mean? Riley Wilson? Uh, yeah, I just changed the wording. So I tell you the same thing, but I'm changing the wording. This is the conclusion. I think we should have easy H2Os at LCS because blank, blank, and blank. What is this missing already? So can you tell this what this thing is missing? Riley Martis? The three reasons. Missing three reasons. What else is it missing? Right at the beginning there. The three reasons are blank because I didn't put them in there just to leave it open. Addy? Missing a signal phrase like in conclusion. So I would need to add that in my editing process. All right, in conclusion. And then I restate my thesis. So I'm down. This one, check. This one, check. And I tell my three reasons. What do I do after I restate my thesis? Ashlyn. Make final. I make a final point. This is your drop the mic moment. Okay? This is where you're making such a good point. You drop the mic and you hand that paper in. You're like, this thing is fire. I turn it in. Game over. We're for sure getting extra time at recess. Right? You need to make a really good point to end it. You can do this, you can ask a question, but like a rhetorical question, right? One that makes kind of a statement. You can make a statement, very straightforward statement, right? This one right here just says, so get out and donate so LCS can get easy H2O machines for our school. This one is a call to action. The call to action is asking the reader to do something about it. Right? So if you're asking for more recess time, you could say, so get out and talk to Mrs. Hartwig about adding more 15 extra minutes to our recess time every day. Right? That's a call to action. A statement, you could just be make a bold statement. Be like, having reset X 15 minutes of extra recess at LCS will be the most beneficial thing that this school has ever done in the history of the school. Right? That's a bold statement. Right? That's a big one. That might, might not be true, but that's a big one. Okay? The question might be just something that you asked, like, would you want 15 extra minutes when you were our age? No. I would, try, I would say yes. I'd go for it. Sure. Right? So this is our simple conclusion. Look how short our conclusion is here. This is two, two sentences. 
Your conclusion should be between two and three sentences. It's super simple, super short. All you're doing is you're telling, giving a signal phrase, some kind of word that tells me it's the end. Restating your thesis statement, changing the wording of your thesis statement that's in your introduction just a little bit. Then you're giving a final point. Either you're dropping the mic with a, state, a question, statement, or a call to action. Got that? That's conclusion. So today, what you are going to do is you are going to, I know I mentioned this earlier, you are going to go back to your rough draft. Look at your conclusion. Does it follow this? If it does and it's close, See what you can change to make it a little better. Can you make your final point better? Can you call to action? Can you ask a question? Can you make a statement? Do you have a signal word? Have you restated your thesis? Okay, if you're like, oh, what's a thesis? Then you probably don't have one in your introduction and you need to look at that too. Okay? So, be looking back at your rough draft there. Once you're done with that, you're looking at my comments in your rough draft, making the changes that I suggest. Kabish? Kapash, cool. Riley Morris, you can hit the video button on there. If you